Hey, Uncle Mark in the mothership, three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is Rave On. This is a Sunny West tune made famous by Buddy Holly. And so I'm going to play a little bit of this and then uh, we'll break down how I'm doing that. The song is in G, so that makes it really nice for a guitar tuned in G. So uh, here we go. The little things that you say can do. Make me want to be with you Rave on, it's a crazy feeling I know you got me reeling When you say, I love you, rave on The way you dance and hold me tight The way you kiss and you say goodnight Rave on, it's a crazy feeling I know you has got me reeling When you say, I love you, rave on guitar strings. I'm playing through my Roland Cube and I'll show you those settings at the end of the video. So at the nut we have open G. Like I said the song is in G so that makes it really nice. G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. That's an important chord in this song at the fifth fret. C sharp and D and that's the other important chord. This is a typical 1-4-5 song in G which means the one, the key, is G, the four chord is the C, the five chord is the D. So, if you tell somebody, hey, this is a one, four, five song in G, they will know exactly what you mean. And if you have any questions on that, I do have an explainer video on how to work that out. So, take a look at that. So this song has a little rock and roll rhythm in it, and I do have an explainer video on the rock and roll rhythm. Who guessed that? So uh, what you're doing is you're going G, and then you're going to put your finger here on that E note. That's the second fret of the D string. So this thing has a down... always on the putting it down on the down so like so that's how to practice this and just start doing it the, the best way to practice something that you don't know and is exactly kind of counterintuitive to how you think and everything just start doing it it'll eventually pop Okay, in, in your mind, it'll eventually pop, and you'll get to this point. Until then, let's just do it without that. The little things that you say and do, open G, make me wanna be with you. See, rave on, it's a crazy feeling, and I know you got me reeling when you say, I love you, rave on. That's it. So G, jangle, 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 jingle, jangle, 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 fifth fret C. And if you notice, I keep my hand here and not down here, because why would I put my hand down here if I'm open? I'm, I'm ready for that next chord. Oh, it's a crazy feeling. Open. I know you got third fingers getting ready for the G. I love you. I love you, baby. 
wave on the sea. Okay, that's how the lyric goes. That's how I want you to just think about how this song operates. So, you know a C is coming. So, have your hand here. Not here. Not here. Here. Where's the C? Right here. Put your finger there. Get your third finger there. These are your, or, you know, you can use your pinky if you want. Pinky and a helper finger. Lots of my students do that. I use three helper fingers sometimes. But that's how you want to be. That way, you don't move your hand anywhere around. Your hand is always ready to play these chords. So that's how I want you to think of this. A more advanced student will be doing the rock and roll parts, and you have to move a little bit and shift. That totally fine. However you want to play this tune, it's your song. You do with it as you please. I'm sure Sonny West would, and Buddy Holly will be, would be happy to have you playing this stuff. So the chorus, it does a bop, bop, typical Buddy Holly type stuff, typical rockabilly. That's the vibe. How you incorporate that vibe into the song is totally up to you. So you can go on C. Wave on, it's a crazy feeling, and I know you got me reeling, and you're believing in you. Right? You can do this vibe any way you want. You can come into it and go C, 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 C. showed you something there, this G chord. And the way you make this G chord is you come up from that D string. So we're on that D string. You can see my pick on it. D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. Put that first finger, just like you do a C chord, but pull it off and just stick it there. Okay, so C chord, pull it off and stick it there. Third finger on the D, pinky on the D. The reason I like this chord shape is I can stop it. And if you notice, what I'm doing is, is I press down and I let off, but I don't let go. I just let off a little bit and mute it, like so. See how I'm pressing down and getting sound? in a song like this where you go there are a lot of songs that have that type of combination especially in this late 50s early 60s stuff and I want you to be able to play this so start working this you don't have to but you can you can just go G chorus I do a walk up the neck so I go bam 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 okay so that little walk and I consider it a walk up the ladder and you can do it by fingers or you can do it individually like I do. Okay? That's something you one you have to get used to. So start playing that bass string back and forth. It's not right? It's back and forth. Okay? So you're going back and forth and you're So if you have a metronome Get that metronome going. You can do that. You can go. I like I like these five notes: G, A, B flat, B, and C. That's what I like. 
but it's up to you if you even use it at all. I just wanted to show you how you do that, and you can do it that way. Uh, the only thing I wouldn't do is use your second finger, third finger, or pinky, because it puts you out of position here, unless you're doing, right? Unless you're doing that. So there's many ways to play this, depending on your skill level. But what I want you to get across is, play it to your skill level, and then add parts. So if you've never done the... Skip it for now until you know that section. Then just add the section. Don't skip the song because you can't do it exactly like that or exactly like me. Do it your way and then add sections the way you like it. I mean, you can do lots of stuff with this song. So I just want you to know that that's totally cool. Use it the way you can do it, and that would be the best way. And that's the best advice I have for anybody. Play it the way you like it. Don't play it Buddy Holly's way. Don't even play it Sonny West's play. Play it your way. Your way is the coolest way. So what we went through a whole bunch of different variants of this. Um, there is a... Getting that little vibe down, that or the getting used to that, you're going to see that in a lot of old songs. The Who, um, you know, Yardbirds, uh, you know, all of this British Invasion stuff. You see a lot of. All of those guys stole those licks from guys like Sonny West, Buddy Holly, Eddie Cochran. The list goes on. So just remember, those, those little licks and those little riffs, chord riffs, I call them chord riffs, chord licks, um, those are really fun things to do. So listen to these songs and try to find that vibe. This is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. And uh, I do have a PayPal link here down below. Thank you so much for everyone that's been so supportive. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you, thank you so much. Also, uh, a buck a show is all we ask. And I do have a Facebook page where I post a lot of live stuff recently, a lot of stuff I've uh, played on my couch. So that's really fun too. So take a look at that. I told you I'd show you my settings. And so these are my settings. I am on the Brit Combo. And as you can see, I've got my reverb up a tiny bit more than I normally would, just because this is more like a rockabilly tune. If you crank up your reverb, okay, I'm just going to hit it up a couple of notches, you get a wonderful uh, reverby sound. <laughs> Rockabilly surfish sound, so that's a really cool tone to play with. This is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything. Keep your comments coming. It's awesome. Keep your suggestions coming. I really do appreciate it, and that's how I work my schedule. So thank you so much for everything, and we'll see you soon.